Yo, what is up everybody? Jumping here. And today I'm going to be showing you the Asari Huntress Infiltrator, which is probably the strangest infiltrator they have ever added in this game. But she's pretty decent if you play her right and if you have maybe the right team. But uh, alright, let's go ahead and get into this. Now for the weapon that I'm going to recommend, the first one, definitely the Alkali Pistol. It's just like, it strips shields, and you can do some DPS to their health, blow them up, that kind of stuff. It's pretty good, on you know, for that whole thing. Now, uh, the other gun I would actually recommend would be the Talon. I was going to think about using this for the gameplay, but I was like, nah, you guys have got to be sick of the Talon. I use it so much, and I love it. But the Talon is also really good, because it can strip shields quick and kill really fast, unlike the Alkalite. The Alkalite strips shields really quick, but it does kill, but it takes a while sometimes, because it shoots so fucking slow. Alright, now for some shotguns you could use, you could actually use the Gap Plasma Shotgun. This would actually work really well. you got to remember, weight really does not matter for an Infiltrator. As long as you cloak and you do your shit, you're pretty good. Um, at least with my build of it. Let me see what else. Rave Shotgun would be good. Like, Rigor Carbine would be pretty good. But, that's pretty much all of it. Now, for, uh, let's take a look at assault rifles you could use. I actually, the one I kind of like is the Falcon. Falcon's pretty good, to be quite honest on her. Um, I was strapping on the melee attachment. I was trying to do a melee build with her, but that just, that was just a nightmare. I don't know what I was thinking. Uh, it seems I would love to have an Asari melee build, but it just, it wasn't meant to be. Alright, let me back that down now. That's pretty much it for weapons. I guess you could also maybe use, like, a SMGs if you want. But the ones I recommend highly would be Talon, Alkalite, and maybe, like, Gef Plasma. Those would be the three that I really think would be good on her. Alright, now for the build. Um, now the first thing is, for Cloak. I go for damage, but there is something up with this. Uh, damage is glitched. This does not work for guns. So you only get the initial 40% for guns. But it does work for power damage and melee damage. So because it goes for power damage, why not go for it still? That's how I feel at least. And they're going to fix it, hopefully, next week. That's what I'm hoping. But go for damage. Damage is still good. This, you know, this is a power infiltrator, so... If it goes, if it works for powers, why not? Now I got recharge speed. When I was fucking with the melee build, I thought, you know, hey, this should be good. But as far as melees, I want them to be good. But you just are, you stand still too long, and you get just mowed down so quick. So I just go for recharge speed. Now I know a lot of people are gonna say bonus power, but no, I actually go for power damage. Now I was experiment. I wasn't actually. I take that back. I've never even really experimented with this because. To me, bonus power on her would just be so boring. I mean, I know a lot of you guys probably set it up just like my build, but the difference would be bonus power. Uh, and what you would do is, like, you could, like, cloak, dark channel, wait a couple seconds, and then do warp, do an explosion. But, you know, that's just, to me, so boring because you're just cloaking, you're, you're, you're waiting. Ugh, that's no fun to me. So, if you want to be like me, and I say run around and shoot. Like, shoot, but use, like, Dark Channel 90% of the time and warp here and there for explosions. But I just, I, I did not want to do a gameplay doing that because I just think that would just be too boring for you guys and I would be bored out of my mind and never want to play with her again if I, if I was trying to do something like that. So I like power damage. Power damage is 25%. This helps your Dark Channel DPS. That's the one thing about her. Her Dark Channel DPS is amazing. Alright, now for Dark Channel, what I like... I like uh, damage, slow. Now here's the thing, if you wanted to do the bonus power thing, you definitely want recharge speed. Uh, slow really isn't that good. I don't really like slow. I, I never could get into it. But recharge speed is good, but for my build, because every time I cloak and then I use dark channel, I'm going to become uncloaked. So recharge speed doesn't matter. But if you have bonus power, you do want recharge speed, that way you can get off your explosion and you know be bored out of your mind doing that shit. Alright, now for the uh, final one, damage. Now, I know a lot of people are going to say, whoa, what about Pierce? Well, Pierce is, you know, that's pretty good. 75% to uh, armor and and uh, barriers. But this is 50%. And that's to everything. It's just like Carnage. Like, do you want 65% more damage to armor? Or do you want 50% more damage to everything? And that includes armor. 
So that's the way I feel about this as well. Is that this is this is just twenty five percent more for two two things, and you don't really fight against many barriers. You fight against a lot of armor, but to me, damage is better for everyone else and also bosses. All right, now for warp, um, I just go for the standard build: detonate, expose, pierce. Now for the huntress, uh, damage and capacity, power damage. That's pretty obvious. And for fitness, I just go for three points. I had the melee build going with this where I skipped a sorry Huntress and it just went for all melee, but that just did not work good. You could try that if you want for fun, that would be pretty good for silver or bronze, but nah, not not for gold or platinum. Alright, now for the equipment, it's just going to be Warp Rounds 4, Pistol Rail Lamp 3, and Combo Package uh, 5, and Cyclonic 3. Power Amp also works really well with her. Alright, let's go ahead and get into the gameplay. Hey, alright guys, this is going to be the gameplay, and today is going to be on Firebase Glacier versus Cerberus, and we will be doing a uh, Adept Team, and honestly, that's where she shines, that's what I've realized is that, and that's what I kind of knew going in, is that she was definitely going to be great for some type of an explosion team, because having that dark channel is just a, it's a very good power for this kind of stuff, I mean, the biggest advantage to Dark Channel is that if you kill someone who has it on them, even with your gun, I mean, you can kill them with your Alkali pistol, your Gaff plasma, whatever you're using. As long as the effect is on them when they die, it's going to jump to the next target. So, the idea with my version of the build is to kind of exploit that if you're playing by yourself. Like, luckily, this gameplay, because I have a team doing this, I don't really have to do it much. And it is kind of tricky to do, but this is what I like to do. Because I like I, said, I like to play fast pace. I don't want to sit there and be cloaked the whole time just trying to do like an explosion. Like that just doesn't seem fun to me. So what I like to do is I like to um, cloak, dark channel, alkalite pistol. And then they pretty much almost die from that. And I might shoot them one more time with the alkalite pistol when I'm uncloaked. Then, because they die, the target will jump to uh, the dark channel will actually jump to another target and then I can warp then I can go ahead and warp and detonate that explosion so that's the way I like to do the explosions with her but it is tricky there's no question about that um, and warp well let's just say it's not the greatest detonating power uh, because it has a some it doesn't have a long recharge but it has a 2.5 second recharge that's semi long I guess and the problem with it is that it's a projectile based um, power that enemies can easily dodge and they dodge it all the time so it becomes very very annoying and that was always my problem with the fury trying to do a dark channel throw kind of thing I see people doing that all the time I just wasn't ever I was never a fan of that I always thought the annihilation field was a billion times better a billion times faster um, because to me, that's just too slow paced. I mean, if you guys love slow paced combat, go for it. That's fine. There ain't nothing wrong with that. But if you know me, I like fast paced. I like to play the game fast paced. And like with the Fury, Dark Channel, then you throw, that was a little slow paced compared to just run into the group of them, throw, 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 kill everything. Um, that, to me, was the better way to go. And unfortunately, with her, with uh, this uh, sorry infiltrator, it's actually kind of even a slower combo than what the well, it is a slower combo than what the Fury gets because Throw has a good recharge speed, and Warp has the same recharge speed as Dark Channel. So it's about a total of five seconds for one ex every five seconds you can get one explosion. That's that that's what you can do. But if you like, um, if you're trying to play like this uh, and you don't have bonus power, it's like actually about three to well it's actually about six to eight seconds for an explosion it takes a long time so i don't know like to me i just think the best way for me personally to play with her fast pace is just to rely on dark channel to do good dps because that's what and honestly that's what it does it does a ton of dps and because of all the bonuses especially if you try to use like a power amp four ooh baby this shit is fucking craziness but but, uh, like I said, she shines the best when you have a team like this. Trying to do, trying to run around with her by yourself, it's really nothing special. And it's kind of disappointing, to be quite honest. Uh, she's decent, that's for sure. She's decent, but the problem with me is just, like, it's just kind of 
boring. She has one power. It's Dark Channel. I've never liked Dark Channel for real too much. Um, warp is good, but, I mean, <sighs> Warp is like incinerate. Let's just put it that way. Everybody fucking got it. Like, all the tech characters in the game got incinerate. And I don't know why they do that. It's so dumb. Like, I don't like incinerate. I don't, I do not like that power. And Warp, now I like Warp, but every, like, biotic character in the game gets Warp. It's ridiculous. It's just too many people. And I think they should have gave her something like Shockwave. That would have been cool. I don't know, but maybe it would be too broken. Who knows? But the combination of Dark Channel and Warp, it's a decent combination, but I'm just not a big fan. Um, that's why when I first started with her, I was trying to do maybe a melee build. I was thinking, like, this is something that people are going to find very unique if I can pull this off. But guess what, guys? I couldn't pull it off. There's no way. Like, the fucking melee is for, is sorry's are just bad. It's so hard to run into a room and, uh, get the melee off. Like, you can kill, like, three guys in one melee. It's pretty, it's fucking crazy. Her melee is so strong. But, um, if you don't kill them, they will annihilate you and murder you because you can't move for, like, two seconds afterwards. And it's kind of lame. So, that's how that that's how that goes. And remember, her shit's glitched. So if you're trying to like run around with more of a weapon build, well, I would never. I I don't know. Maybe duration's better for you, but I don't really like recommending duration. But you gotta remember that forty percent is glitched. So weapon builds right now are not gonna be very good with her. Uh, well, I mean, she's an infiltrator, so I guess they'll they'll be pretty pretty decent. But, like I said, the thing I like to do with her is just to rely on my uh, Dark Channel for DPS. <clears throat> try to maybe use her in some type of uh, team like this. Then she really shines because she's so... She's uh, really good at staying alive. I mean, she's an infiltrator, so... There you go. <laughs> like, that's all and that needs to be said. That's what she is. She's an infiltrator. She can go invisible. And she could set up like a beast, to be quite honest. Um, Alright, well, anyway, guys... um. Just remember the thing about her is that the best, my personal way I like to play with her is to do the whole dark channel thing. So because dark channel can continue to set up targets as long as you kill the target, you can just hit him with warp, and that does work pretty well. Now, one thing, like I said, you could do a couple different things, like with this build, if you really want to, like weapon wise, especially. Like, if you want a pure, really strong, just kind of dark channel-y kind of build, because honestly, like, that's, to me, what I personally feel is the best route to go, is this kind of like a dark channel, spam and shoot em kind of build. Um, and that's if you don't have a team like this. If you don't have a team like this, you're going to be in trouble. But, so what I like to do is, like, what I would recommend, at least, um, is to use something like Gep Plasma Shotgun. It's on, so you can even charge it up because it's on the L bumper. I hate having to hit R bumper when I'm trying to charge up a gun. So, you hit him with Dark Channel, you cloak, you hit him with Dark Channel, and shoot him. And you just keep doing that. And the DPS on Dark Channel is pretty good to the point where you'll continuously kill anybody. And if anyone on your team has some type of biotic power, you can get combos. That's how I personally think is, um, the way I, I'm liking her right now. But, I mean, you could try, like I said, other things. You could maybe attempt the melee build. I don't really know. You could do the bonus power build. The bonus power build, I would say, would be probably the one that everybody uses and would probably recommend. But, it's just too boring. Like, I, I, if, it's boring to me. Like the, I, And to me, like as you know, I'm not playing this game much right now. The main reason for that, guys, is because I'm pretty bored. Pretty bored. So, if I want to keep myself entertained then, yeah, I need to come up with something a little bit more fun. So this was definitely, this game was actually pretty fun, doing the team like this with her. It's pretty dope stuff. Alrighty, so this is the objective wave here. Now, one thing you guys have to remember is that she is an Asari, so she can do this little dodge pizza trick thing here. Do it right now, because I'm a boss. Um... It sucks not playing on PC because the fucking PC kids can like straight cheat with this thing. I don't know if you guys have ever seen that, but that shit is crazy. It's really not a cheat. I don't think Bioware even cares. Um, any type of exploit normally in games, people like the, the game companies don't really care for real. Unless it's something that's just super game breaking like uh, Rocket Glitching. Then they kind of care because uh, you're breaking the game. But 
um, like what they what the PC people can do is they can actually run, run the fucking uh, box, and just sprint the whole way. Like that's insane to me. Like sprint the whole way there with anybody, like literally anybody. Like they can pick it up with anything. Like I, don't, I actually don't know exactly how it works, but I think they can pick it up with anybody as long as they know how to do it. They can run it all the way into the objective and score it. It's insane, but. PC has definitely a big advantage over consoles, that is for sure. Alright, that's where I am gonna rock it. And now let's get back into it. But yeah, the sorry huntress, she's decent, like I said, she's decent because if you're gonna run around with her by yourself, you can do decent you can definitely do pretty good with her, um but she's gonna be one of those people where it's like she's not very good at in my opinion at least she's not very good at getting her own explosions unless you go for the bonus power thing you could do that but like I said that takes about five seconds to do um and I don't know like that's just not enough DPS to me to be quite honest I mean that's that's really the truth is that if you really do the DPS like you compare it to like other builds like the DPS on just like doing explosions with her really not worth it so and you're not going to be helping your team much. Right here, we're like fucking so pinned in this room. There's so many of them coming from like all over the place. But, um, you know, I, I don't know. Like, it's really whatever. Alright, but, you know, like I said, I'm not... Now, well, here's the thing, guys. I don't want you guys to get, like, pissed at me. But I'm not... After this and the Omega DLC, I will probably not be posting DLC, uh, content for Mass Effect until the next character comes out. But what's great is that I don't know how many is left exactly. Actually, there's three of them I think that are left. There could be more. I'm not too sure. But what's going to be coming out is going to be the Vols Vanguard. Now I will like the Vols Vanguard. I can be honest with that. Like I think I will really like him. Uh, the reason why is because he gets charge. Like that's literally the main reason. I like charge. It's good power. So uh, and he's going to have shield boost. That's that's definitely pretty good, because what you can do is charge in, shoot some enemies, uh, well, charge in, stun some enemies, shoot some enemies, and then maybe you lose your shield, shield boost, you shield back, shoot shoot the enemies again, kill them, charge again, and just keep keep repeating that, and um, that's a pretty good combination, I think. And the other power it gets is, are the orbs, so because of the orbs, if you go for like power recharge, man, his charge is going to be like 2 seconds long, or, um, or maybe even less, like 1.5 seconds for charge. And I'm thinking it might be more like Krogan Charge, so it's going to have like a lot of damage, a lot of force, because he's like a fucking bowling ball. That should be cool. So I think that he will be the best, the, pretty much the best Volus. Um, I know a lot of you guys are going to say, well, don't forget about the Volus Engineer. Well, you will forget about the Volus Engineer when the Drell Infiltrator comes out, because the Drell Infiltrator will become the most cheap and broken piece of shit in the game. Like, he will be so easy to use. And will make the game so easy to play. As long as you have him. Like, no joke. He gets the recon mine. And that's the one thing the Vols Engineer gets that makes him unique. and really, Well, he gets the shield boost too. But it makes him pretty unique is that recon mine. It makes, and that recon mine is fucking good on the Volus. So imagine what it's going to do on an Infiltrator. And, and the worst thing about... The worst thing about recon mine is the recharge speed. Recharge speed is like 9 seconds or something. It's really ridiculous. Uh, but on the Infiltrator, it really won't matter. It really won't matter. And his other power is going to be Cloak, obviously. Like, he's an Infiltrator. And that's always good. Like, that's always good. <laughs> uh, another thing, too, right here, I'm going to die. But another thing, too, is that, uh, if you guys don't know, I don't think everybody would know, but I hope a lot of you guys do, is that the Drells and the Turians uh, got buffed a little bit. Turians got, like, a little bit more power damage passive, and they also got some weapon damage passes. Now these are the non-Havocs, non-Havocs, just like the Sentinel and the Soldier Turian. And the other thing that got uh, buffed was uh, the Drells. All Drells got buffed. So that Drell Infiltrator will have more weapons damage and up to 50% power damage. So that's pretty crazy. And the other thing too is that he gets homing grenades. Oh my fucking god. They give him like pretty much one of the best grenades, if not potentially the best grenades, depending on who you, who you ask. So the Drell Infiltrator will be insane. And the other one that I'm really excited about, the one I want to play so bad, honestly, more than the Drell Infiltrator, is, um, because I know the Drell Infiltrator is just going to be easy mode, but the one I really want to play is going to be uh, the Saboteur, the Turian Saboteur Havoc, that guy. Oh my god, he's going to be amazing. He gets Sentry Turret, that's a whatever part, don't, I wouldn't even fuck with it, I wouldn't even put no points into it. 
and that way you can get like full fitness, all that kind of shit. So don't fuck with Sentry Turret when that comes out. He gets sabotage. Sabotage. Now you might think sabotage, like that's whatever. Like a lot of people don't like sabotage, and I've even said in videos I'm not a big fan of sabotage. But on him, it's gonna be great because the one thing that the one person who has sabotage can do um, is the I think it's the Korean female, the Korean female um, infiltrator. She gets sabotage, and if you guys don't know, that sets up tech burst just like energy drink. Sabotage sets up tech burst. A lot of people don't know that. So like with her, what you can do is you just sabotage. You run up, you throw your sticky. Stickies are like kind of whatever. They're pretty good, but sometimes they don't detonate right, and so it's hard to get tech burst with them. Well, it's not hard to get tech burst, but it's not really super easy to get it. Like maybe like with an arc grenade, now, that, that's pretty easy. But so sabotage is good in that aspect. Um, it can get tech burst, and what he gets is actually homing grenades. So he's gonna have sabotage and homing grenades, and he'll just get nonstop tech burst. He'll be like the opposite of the Korean male uh, engineer. Because a Korean male, he can throw a grenade, use incinerate, get a tech burst. Well, the saboteur is going to be able to uh, sabotage, shoot the homing grenade, and homing grenades are ridiculous. Shoot that, they'll home in, hit the target, you'll get a tech burst. So, he will be extremely, extremely good. And that's that's actually three of them right there. And I just remember, there is another one that I, uh, that's coming out. And that's actually the Korean male uh, soldier. He's like the marksman soldier. He gets like marksman and um, I think he gets sabotage. And I don't know what else he gets. I think he gets like a sentry turret or something. So he'll be probably pretty decent too. I'm not really too excited over him. He, if they release him next, I'm going to be pissed because like I said, I'm, I'm, a, I'm just a little disappointed with the releases. I was not into the Vorcha. was not into the Volus. And honestly, I don't really think I'll be too much into her. Um... If I'm gonna like run, if I'm gonna run a adapt team though, or some type of explosion team, I probably would tell people, hey, you should uh, play that uh, sorry infiltrator. It's pretty good. Then I'll definitely be open for people using it, or I might even use it myself. But like I said, by myself, just rolling around trying to have fun, I wouldn't really mess with her too much. Um, but she is decent. I mean, the way I would put it is that if I was actually to rate her as a character right now from playing with her, I played about five games with her, I would give her maybe a five out of ten, and that's like on the scale of like, let's say the Geth Infiltrator is a ten out of ten. That's where I would put him probably. So, I would give her about a five. She's decent, just very average, super average kind of, kind of shit here. But, like I said, she's uh she's interesting that's for sure <laughs> she's interesting and i i was so shocked that they even did what they did with her like they put a i mean think about it they put a fucking biotic powers on infiltrator like what the fuck that's crazy to me that's that's insanity but they did it so hey i'm not gonna complain too much i just i just wish they would stop putting warp on everybody everybody gets fucking warp man like ugh. Like, I want to see some more Reeves. I want to see some more Reeves, and I want to see some um, more Shockwavers. I would love to see a combination of Reeve and Shockwave. That would be crazy. That would be insane. I'm not saying for her, but I always thought they should have done that with the Krogan uh, Adept, the Shaman. They should have given Reeve and Shockwave. That, that would be an insane combination right there. Insane combination. All right, so this is, the, uh, this is actually the Ejective Wave. Not Ejective Wave. This is the Extraction Wave. And we're just going to, like, try to hold them off and kill them and stuff. And as long as, like, like I said, as long as you have a team, you're going to have a lot of success with her. Because our channel is just a really good power for doing this kind of stuff. And that's about it, though. And like I said, if you're going to run, but here's the thing, guys. Remember this. If you're going to run her and you don't have, like, any type of team, I would say try maybe Geth Plasma Shotgun. And just kind of, dark, just Dark Channel spam, to be quite honest. Because Dark Channel stuns the shit out of them. And you could warp enemies too if you want, like, the bigger ones, bosses. I would definitely say warp them for the armor debuff and the, and the, the debuff in general, the 15% debuff. Like, that, that's definitely what you should do. But, I mean, I don't know. You can play her out any way you want to. But this is the way I think I'm going to like playing with her. Um, so, alright, guys. This is winding down. I hope you have enjoyed it. Please like the video. And like always. Have a nice day.